What's going on guys, Eddie Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you how to add third-party widgets on iOS 14 official in five of my favorite ones. Before we get into this, I wanna recommend everybody check out the eToro crypto iPhone app. Now this is an amazing place to trade cryptocurrencies straight from your phone. Currently they've got 15 different coins that you can buy, sell, trade, and invest in. But the best part about using eToro crypto is that there's a social aspect to it. So you know you can chat with people about different coins, you can make friends on here, and it kinda of just makes the whole experience of getting into cryptocurrency a lot more fun. So if you guys do wanna check it out, I'll have some sign up resource and bonus links in both the description comments of this video. And so adding third-party widgets is an awesome feature on iOS 14. And in order to make this happen, you need to scroll over, then you need to go to customize, click edit. And as long as you have some of the apps that actually allow widgets, you would just add them, click done, and then they're gonna show up in your widget section. Now I'm gonna show you five of them that you know I really like right now, um, but you know obviously there's other ones out there. The first one I'm gonna throw up here is gonna be Robinhood. Now the reason I like Robinhood is because, you know, I feel like a lot of people have this app if they're trading stocks and you know it's always good to check on your money especially in the morning to make sure you haven't lost everything uh, and you're obviously going to do that when you're on your phone so there's a few different sizes you can use for robin hood um you know i like the jumbo size right there it'll just kind of like pull up some of the stocks you own okay the next uh app i'm going to pull up here is going to be the google search uh widget this thing is awesome because i mean it takes a step away from having to load like Safari, you know what I mean? So you can just type something in there, it'll search it for you. And I just think that's a very useful widget to be using. All right, the next one I'm gonna load up here is gonna be the Reddit Apollo. This one's cool if you use Reddit, and I know there's a lot of people out there that use Reddit, I mean, I do. So it's gonna pull up posts with whatever uh, group you're currently in. You can see there's a few different sizes. I added the jumbo one, it didn't load up correctly there, but you know, it is a cool one. And uh, you know, if you're a Reddit user, you'll definitely like that one. Okay, and then there's Twitch. Uh, I actually do go on Twitch a little bit. Um, so, you know, if you like to, you know, watch anything on Twitch, this is uh, definitely a cool widget. You know, you got a few different sizes. I'm just going to add one of the smaller ones right there. And then the uh, final widget, you know, I wanted to throw a weather one up. So we're going to check out this weather one. A few different sizes you can use for it as well probably go with maybe like a medium size that one looks pretty cool uh but yeah third party widgets i think we're gonna see a lot more come out in you know the coming weeks and months you know as soon as these uh, app developers out there you know add these uh options for their apps but those are the five that i really like right now so i would recommend checking them out just make sure you have the app installed on your phone and then you have to add it in that customization section and you'll be good to go i wanted to wrap things up though with some cod mobile gameplay we had an update recently on uh cod mobile i'm going to get into a quick match if you guys could smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't and let's get into some of the gameplay Enemy contact. Thank you. 
enemy contact. Reloading. Enemy contact. Inside! Oh, need backup! 